Hello Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. This week we have a new visitor in our cosmic neighbourhood. Welcome Atlas. This is another astronomy video in conjunction with Ghost Stargazing, so go check out their page in the description box below. is a comet. It's an icy rock in a large orbit around our sun and it was discovered on the 28th of December 2019. It will become easily visible on the 1st of May and if the predictions are correct then Atlas will reach a magnitude of 5 which is possibly even visible with the naked eye in some dark sky areas. Of course it's going to be difficult because it will be a fuzzy blob which is much harder to observe than a point source but the best way to see this fuzziness is to use adverted vision. Adverted vision is a technique where instead of looking straight at an object, you look off to one side to expose the most sensitive part of your eye so that you can see much fainter objects. Averted vision works in the following way. The retina of your eye has two types of cells that detect light, rods and cones. Cones detect colour and help you see finer details. They're found near the centre of your retina. This is why you look directly at objects you want to see well. Rods, on the other hand, are found far away from the centre of your retina. Rods don't see in as much detail as cones do and they only see in black and white. But this makes them far more sensitive to light. Also, even though rods don't see in colour, they are most sensitive to blue-green light. You'll see the faintest objects if instead of looking straight at an object, you look 16 to 20 degrees off centre. The exact angle is a little bit different for each person, but using averted vision, you can reveal objects up to 40 times fainter than direct vision. Another thing that you can do to help see Atlas better with your naked eye is to use dark adaptation. When your eyes are looking at things in a light environment, your rods are fully saturated by the light, so they can't detect any faint light at all. But when you turn lights off, the rods will eventually return to a dark adaptive mode. It takes a long time, about 20 to 60 minutes. So that's why astronomers get so angry when someone shines a white light in their eye because they'll have to wait a long time to recover their dark adapted vision. Going from a dark to light adapted state happens very fast, in only a few seconds. But red light cannot bleach the dye in the rods if the wavelength is over 650 nanometers. So astronomers often use red lasers or lamps when they're observing. On May the 1st, to find Atlas on the sky, it can be found in the constellation of Camelo Pardalis. You can use either binoculars or a telescope. Look left of Cassiopeia, the W, to find the bright planet Venus. And between Cassiopeia and Venus, Atlas can be found at twice the distance of Venus and the bright star Capella and in the same direction. Obviously, as a comet, its location will change very quickly, so I'll link down below the site where you can find it for people in other locations and at different times. On May 23rd, Atlas will get its closest approach to the Earth, and then it will pass very close to the Sun by around May 31st. It's also called C2019Y4, and its currently green colour arises from emissions of diatomic carbon with a greenish-yellow tail. As the comet approaches the sun, its tail will get longer and brighter as more material is evaporated off by the heat. But to survive long enough for it to be visible as a bright light in the sky, it will need to hold on to its ice. And that means it has to have a large nucleus of frozen gas. This is something we're still not sure about for the comet at the moment, but if it doesn't, then the comet will run out of ice and gas and it will likely disintegrate as it gets closer to the sun. Astronomers have calculated that Atlas is on a 6,025 year orbit around the Sun. Its trajectory is very similar to another comet, C1844Y1, the Great Comet of 1844 or Wilmot's Comet. This suggests that Atlas might be a fragment of the same parent comet as Wilmot. 
Unfortunately, even if Atlas survives the CERN without crumbling away, there's a chance that a slingshot around the CERN will eject it completely from our solar system. So make sure you catch it whilst you can. That's all for this week's video. Let me know in the comment section below if you get the opportunity to observe Atlas. I'll also link down below the Go Stargazing website for more astronomy tips, so don't forget to check that out. In the meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.